Hello everyone, welcome back to part 4 of Red Dead Redemption. Anyway, let's do another mouse for mission. Spare the wall, spar the bandit. And we got added to a new gun, the Winchester... One minute. Let's see. Nope, nope, where the hell is it? Anyway, there's a problem going on with the bandits going around killing people, so... Right, let's go. Stay together. Time to back. I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. Aha, the Winchester it's Repeater. It's a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel mouth Funko artist I've never met. Look, Walter. I see him. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. Let's go. Oh yeah, Eli. So let's see. Jonas, Deputy Eli. Well, Deputy Eli and Deputy Jonas. Hey, wait. Here is the first. Whoa. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. And that's Eli. So busy killing people, they went and dropped their guns. Ha, ah, the Winchester Repeater. AK, I've been using this gun for a very long time. Anyway, that's the first little camp we found of the massacre. We'll head for Ridgewood Farm. See if they know anything. Yeah. What is she supposed to do? Well, a bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain neat. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're formed. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. Poor vultures! It yep. don't look so good! God damn it! Come on, let's take a look. Alright, and well, head to the marker for the north and look for the vultures. Well, they got bush rag right here. Man, These guys. Dead body, but the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Alright, then. <coughs> anyway, on, onward to. Oh, you heard the marshal? Up to the farm. Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? Can't see a soul anywhere. This ain't right. All right, boys. Let's have a look around. <laughs> All right, then. Well, shows the farm for any survivors. On here. Let's go check out the outhouse. Anyway, that's our new gun, Winston Repeater. <laughs> Decent damage, hold about 10 rounds. Anyway. No one here. Nope, no one's in the outhouse. Anyway, let's go to the barn. So yeah, you mentioned about Wes Dickens. Well, there was a mission you're supposed to do here. I saw do some of the missions out of order. Nope. Break that door down. The rest of you, get your guns ready. Someone inside. Oh, crap. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. The bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> this has gone far enough. Alright, then time for a gunfight. Smoke those sons of bitches. Hell no. Damn! Too close. Alright, then. 
Well, time for some a little close car. Time for a little bit of close car combat here. Nope, I don't think I hit the guy. Come on out. So yeah, the co come on. So yeah, the combat mechanic here is a bit above from Grand Theft Auto 4, the cover mechanic here and the enemy, and of course they're gonna pop out their, their shoulder or their legs. Anyway. And this person's gonna have a human sealed. Go for a hair shot here. Slow down time and. As soon as you can, make a run for the shed. Keep your head down. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. All right, and that's everyone. Looks like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. Not well. Anyway, let's go back to the barn. Well, one was at the bar, but most of the low set here, D. These guys are close by to the fort here. Do you think they might be headed for Fort Mercer, Marshal? What? Williamson's men? Maybe. All this sure looks like their handiwork. Make sense if they cut this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. Bill. You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Uh oh. The guy right, the guy next to him is Norman Deke, his second in command. We're gonna be, we're gonna say hi to Mr. Deke very soon. Anyway, let's enter the his damaged house and fix him for one hell of a gunfight. Here they come. So yeah, along you in cover and you're pretty much picking your shot carefully. Sorry, match our headshots here. You're not gonna die. Anyway, here they come. That's autumn. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> this something makes you still breathing. <laughs> Jonah, what the hell you problem, dude? On, yeah. oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> oh. I 
See you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! <coughs> Hog time. Let's get him to jail. And got the end of the mission. Let's see. Next mission we'll be doing is the burning here. And our Bonnie, a fall, and our let's see, for for Bonnie here. I love doing that. And it cut to here. Yep, the burning. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I'm sure it's nothing, but I worry about the old fool. Let's go! him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. So yeah, basically we need to find Mr. Truth before something happens here. Something's going on. Daddy! What happened? Nothing Whoa. nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the baller twins, that bunch. And you head back to the ranch right now, fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Anyway, Come let's on. go back to the farm. Let's what go back to the ranch to get a wagon. Men. And their horses were dead too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Those damn rustlers. I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize. The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad ends the good. You're upset. Oh my god, the barn's on fire. Uh-oh. Let's go. There he is. Alright, then well, we need to get inside the bar and get the horses out. Somebody get Watch out! Horses out. Let's go out! Oh. The doors are blocked! We need to we find another way in! And time for both climbing here. We have to find another way to get in there! Get a oh. Yeah, of course, climb the, sit, climb the ladder. It's getting worse! Nope, anyway. This ain't working! Anyway, let's see, walk over here, enter our sermon so you don't fall off. And sermon until you get to the actual platform here, then you can walk around. So, as soon as we get into the bar, we gotta get three, ho we gotta get three horses out of there. Oh, 
our spy to slide down, or we're gonna jump down. Oh. What the? Oh, this was. Yes, no accident. We did it! Now get the horses out! <laughs> Alright, and there's three horses here. Alright. Okay, ride them, to hit them the. And then the butt here, and then they get the hit to get the hell out of there. Come on, all right, one last one. Nope. Oh. Ah, crap. Oh. Anyway, down the last horse and live, live like the wind. All right, then. Well, take take the horse to the set over here, and that and that finishes the mission. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um... Well, you get some rest. Yeah, well, not the end of the mission. And the, you know how I mentioned how they mentioned the first per, very first mission about Wiz Dickens. Uh, yeah, something of order. Oh, oh, Spindler's Blues. Like someone has a bad sir, day. You help? Mister, you alive? Fuck, God damn it! Good heavens! Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get down. St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> oh, oh, come boy. on, mister. Come on. Oh! <laughs> He's milking it. All right, then. Well, let's get. Anyway, you heard Mr. Wes Dickens. Let's head to Armadillo and escape from the bandits who attacked him. There's a really good site you can find a corpse here in the desert here. We're looking for the we're looking for the buzzers. Excuse me. How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. Good lord! Uh oh. It's those scoundrels once again! And yeah, of course, when you're driving here, you can do a bit of a I'm seeing some of those wolves for the men trying to kill us! Excellent work, sir! Yeah. Push on to Armadillo! What the hell happened to you? Bandits! Hoodlums! The scoundrels brought me blind and left me to die! I can see that. Once again, I'm a victim of my own success. They seem to put a man in a well-cut suit if this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. Uh-huh. They give so much and still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. Our maker is a funny sense of humor sometimes. Still, at least I met you. Look out, stop! More of them! On uh, some occasion here, you'd be quite in shock with this guy here. Anyway, and first and first, we gotta get him back to, to Armadillo to get past up here. Ah, civilization nearby. We're almost done. Christ's sake, man, you're gonna be fine. We're nearly 
Okay, he's milking it. You need more than a doctor, my friend. This is it. You're gonna make it. And that's him oh. the missing. Where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus! But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Anyway, uh, so the dogs are going to take a good look at him, and he won't be available for a few t a few seconds, for a few missions here. Anyway, after that, unlock the new mission strand for Wes Dickens. Anyway, folks, at the end of part four, see you guys in part five. Bye.